we've paid a, a heavy price in deforestation in this area. Hundreds of millions of board feet per year. People like to say, well, the trees grow back. Well, they do, but not in this lifetime, and not in our children's lifetime, and not in our grandchildren's lifetime. There's no other place left like this. This is the last great piece of the temperate rainforest, the Tongass National Forest. We need to protect it. I always say clear cutting because that's what they're doing. There's nothing gentle about this. Large areas of the forest become even aged and as the trees regrow in those clear cuts, they regrow closely together and end up blocking all light to the forest floor. The areas become a biological desert. Over the last 20 years, the federal government has spent upwards of a billion dollars on logging operations in the Tongass. We can't afford that in terms of what we're losing from the Treasury. We can't afford that in terms of what we're losing from our natural heritage. Two and a half million dollars of road for a $52,000 timber sale. And that road doesn't have any value for any uses other than the timber sale. It's an extraordinary waste of money. In terms of jobs, we went from a heyday of about 2,500, 3,000 people. And we've gone down in 2005 to, uh, I think, about 158 jobs. The Forest Service is conducting the program as if it were in the heyday, and yet the industry is drastically in decline. See those trees? Those trees are like our culture. The roots go down deep, and they intermingle with the trees next to them, next to them, next to them, next to them. That makes our culture strong. That's how strong our culture is. There is a time when our people were made to feel ashamed of our language. There's been a cultural reawakening. You see our regalia is back out. We're proud to be who we are, and we let people know it. We're not hiding it. We're not ashamed of it. We were able to build canoes, carve our stories out of totem poles, build our lawn houses, give us our spruce hats, give us our regalia. We use plants from the top of the mountains to the water. Everything. Everything was utilized to make, make us who we are. If we can work with the Forest Service and any industry to come up with a, a way to help sustain our rural villages, because our heart and soul is based upon the spirituality, the connectedness that we have in this forest. This has been going down through generations, our people fighting for their rights. If we didn't have any rights, why did God put us on this earth too? This region has often been described as the Galapagos of the North. And everything is connected to everything else. These trees, when they're standing, have beneficial impacts on just about every animal which has occupied the coastal forest since the last ice age. This is a non-renewable resource. It really speaks to the richness of the Tongass that it can influence a global population of animals in such a fashion to be so incredibly sophisticated and complex. As it is now, the timber industry has the opportunity to clear-cut large areas of watersheds and places that should not be clear-cut. Get the corporate influence out of forest policy. What you would do is legislate the roadless rule and change it from an administrative rule into an actual statute that would require an act of Congress. We also need to think about a major overhaul in who and how and why this, this forest is managed. We can move to a, a paradigm that pushes for sustainable forestry, cuts in places where there are roads already built, put together a sustainable industry for forestry and also be able to enhance the fishery industry and the tourism industry in southeast Alaska. So saving this place starts with raising the consciousness of the American people, getting them to tell their elected officials that they don't want to see this incredible wild forest destroyed. They want it saved for their kids and their kids' kids and for the amazing fish and wildlife that still thrive here in a way they don't anymore at all in Lower 48, for the wild forest habitat that's really unparalleled.